Hello friend. In this session, we will discuss what is the difference between map, filter, and array as uh, for each. Basically, these all are used to with array in JavaScript. So, in interview, you have been asked what is difference between map, filter, and for each. Okay, and uh, which is better in use, and in which scenario it will be used, and which is which is more um, benefit edge performance. Okay. Test stage performance. OK, so we will start with an example. Let be equal to a dot. First, we will start with map. OK, so we will have a call back here. X and if we want something modified in our value, then we will like this. If you here, we will want to add one value inside in each element of the array. And if we console this. Console A. And similarly, we will console dot log B. Similarly, we will console log B. So you can see the difference. In A, first one is consoling the A. The A is same, whatever is the we have been in starting and inside B, we have the value incremented one in each value. Okay, that means two plus one, three plus one, one plus two, two, three plus one, four. Okay, that means map is used to modify your each element value. Okay, and map basically returns the new M array. Okay, new array with this operations, whatever you have been passed. OK, so. Here what we have seen. Map returns. New array. With modified. With modified elements, the items in array, OK. Now. You can see that it doesn't map doesn't modify your main array means a okay it returns only the new array okay because if you have console a we are getting the same one whatever it is this one okay now we have to go for filter okay filter is basically used to filter some record you can see this modifier will not work in filter you are getting the both in a and b okay that means Filter is used to have some condition. Want to filter some elements. Okay, let's suppose x is greater than three. So it will return true to that element which passes this condition. Okay, x is greater than three will be your result inside B. And A is not again modified or changed. Okay, A is printing the same whatever it is, and here. In response of B, you are getting the numbers which is greater than three. That means filter is used to. It only returns new array and is used to filter the condition, filter your items. Filter items in array. It returns true or false accordingly to the item which Passes your conditions. Okay. Now we go for the storage. Okay. You can see in storage we are getting undefined in B, and A is also not changed. And inside for loop, in this loop you, you can do anything like, uh, okay. If you want to control right control dot log which items here, you can do something like that. OK. So basically for each turns for each items, but it doesn't return every return always undefined. OK, and you can do anything with each item. Do anything with 
each atom, but it doesn't set inside your new array returned because it doesn't return. So you can't get the if you want to modify x plus one, then it also not work. Okay, that means what is returns undefined, and you can do anything whatever with you want to do with your element. You want to do tag all calculation, some whatever the things. Okay. And one more thing we will discuss here is reduce. Reduce basically return whatever you want. Okay. It also iterate on the array. Okay. So you can do reduce. Basically, reduce has some parameter, take some parameter. You can have here. You can see on it. So reduce has four parameters: previous value, current value, current index, and array of number. Okay. So basically, it takes two parameters. We will take two parameters for the example: previous and current. Okay. And what we will do? Like we will want to transform. And we want to get some added value. Okay, so what will we return here? Return previous value plus current value. Okay. So you will get the sum of this all elements inside the array. That means in reduce, you can return whatever you want to do. Okay, if you want to do uh, something which uh, have to compare like with what have to get the maximum value. If you want to get maximum value, then you can compare it here. Like uh, if uh, previous value is less than current value, then return current value. If you have to get maximum, else return previous value. Okay. So here you will get the maximum one from the array. So you, this 77 is the maximum from the array. So you are getting same. If you want to get minimum, you can have like this, and this will be the minimum zero. Okay. So basically, reduce is used for multiple purpose. Okay. It it also iterates on the array for each item, but it has benefit that you can have your previous item with him. If you want to return previous item, then you will have return as a previous item as well. So you can easily compare with previous, sum with previous, minus with previous, multiply with previous. If you want to get multiply with all previous, then you will have return the previous into current value then you will be zero because there is zero inside your array if there is no zero then you will get some value if you pass with here one okay then you will get definitely some value so a reducer uh, reduce returns anything whatever you want to do inside this okay so as per performance as per performance your normal for loop has better performance okay compared to all and then after it comes map and then after it comes reduce and then after it comes forage so as for performance better to use for loop okay then you can use map then you can reduce then at the end you can use forage because it takes more times to complete everything. So better go for map or for normal for loop. So your code will be have more performance. Okay, priority you can use for and map. Okay, thanks for this session.